Okay, this is part two of the training for uploading items to Pipedrive. Picking up where we left off in the last video, we were at uh, having a problem with the contacts and um, organizations and doing a bulk edit. And I figured out the, uh, the trick. So you're going to turn the bulk edit option on. You would select the owner, and in this case, uh, this would show as admin user. And when you get the crosshairs, you need to move up. See how I'm off of the center there? I'm going to left click and drag, highlight, and then when I release, you got to give it a second. Uh, I've noticed that pipe drive is somewhat slow, and look what pops up here. So you don't click like I was trying to on here. Uh, what was happening is it was popping up below the screen, below where we could see it, so I wasn't seeing it. So then, this would say, of course, uh, admin user. And now notice here, I've got to come over here to the right bottom and scroll down. So that's what's a little bit weird, is if you go all the way to the bottom, this little window is going to show up off the screen, and you're not going to be able to see it, and you're going to be confused like me. So you'll have to scroll down, and then you would select the appropriate user. So since I don't want to change anything there, going to do that. Now, once you load these items in, there's another step that we need to add here, because uh, apparently it doesn't add them to the deals. So what I want you to do is add deals. In your case, you're going to be able to select in the upper right hand corner here. Uh, you're going to have admin user here, and if it ever will click for me, Uh, it seems slow. I'm clicking it and nothing's happening. Okay, seems like I got it to go. So you, what's going to show up naturally for you is admin user. And it's only going to show the deals that are for that individual. Now what I've noticed is it can take up to five seconds for it to recycle and update very slow. Um, so Right now, there's nothing in here under admin user. Okay, When you load them in, though, they're going to automatically show up as you, as the owner. Even though you changed the owner in the previous thing, that was just the organization that changed ownership. Deals have a different ownership altogether. So in my case, since I uploaded it under my name, I'm going to uh, select those names underneath my name. So these, this is more like what it'll look like for you. They'll show up under the targeted area, and this says 40 deals. That will equal the number of deals that you just uploaded. So if it's 7 or 19 or whatever. <clears throat> now, um, you see I get a crosshair. If you have a crosshair and you click on it, nothing happens because you're supposed to drag it and move it around. Okay, You're not going to drag or move it around. Um, you're going to make sure you highlight the name of the deal. This little exclamation point here is saying that um, you need to schedule an activity. So what I want you to do is highlight the name of the organization, click on it. When it opens up, user admin user is going to show up here. You're going to change that by clicking on it and you're going to create the ownership of the individual that it's supposed to be for. The next thing you need to do is schedule an activity. We want to schedule a call two days after the email went out. So if it goes out on a Tuesday, we want to schedule this for a Thursday. So if I schedule a call, I'm going to go one, two days. Today's the 15th. We're going to schedule that for the 17th. And then you need to make sure whenever you're logged in as admin user, it's going to automatically default to that. So you've got to assign that. We want to schedule a call so it'll show up on the calendar for the uh, sales rep. And then, of course, you've got to remember to click Save. Once you do that, give it a second and verify right here on the right-hand side that it's been updated. You need to be patient with this system. It's, it can be a little bit slow. Like I said, it can take like five seconds for something to update. Then you need to go back to Deals. And 
do the same process for each and every one. We'll click on the name, we'll change it to the sales rep, and these are showing up for me because I uploaded them under my username. Schedule an activity. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Once you have all those completed um, and cleared out, then you're good to go.